What's up everyone? Welcome to Beta Gaming. My name is Joe and today we're going to continue our playthrough of Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. We are on episode number 9. In the last episode we just went to the Soldier's Temple, uh, defeated Dark Force of version 3, uh, grabbed the Arrow Prism and the Arrow Prism shot a light into the sky trying to show us the way to Rykros. Now we're not quite sure what exactly Rykros is. We believe it's supposedly the fourth planet in the Algo solar system, but that's contrary to information that we already know, being that Algo is the is uh, a three-planet solar system. So we're going to head into our spaceship and we're going to try and figure out what this Rykros is all about. So let's go ahead and get started. So we stopped off in the planet of Dizolus just to heal everybody up real quick after uh, fighting Dark Force 3. So we're going to head over to Rykros. So and here we go. So we we're on the course that the Arrow Prism Light had directed to into the skies, and it looks like it's going to take us out of the solar system if we keep going like this. So we're going to keep on heading, and now all of a sudden the Arrow Prism is flashing again. And then out of nowhere this weird planet has appeared, so there's no radar indication of that there's a planet within the area, and nobody not even the androids who have been alive for thousands of years have any idea what this planet is so we're gonna we're gonna land here in the silence temple and this weird guy is gonna start talking to us so this is a planet of Rykros which is basically like a uh, a trial zone for the protectors of the universe or well, protectors of the galaxy uh, this man is, or this person who is speaking to him is LaRouf, and he is the, uh, I guess you would call him the Trial Master, and he's going to giving us information that this is indeed the fourth planet in the Algo solar system, uh, and that everyone's like, no, it's impossible, there are only supposed to be three. So apparently that uh, this Rykros has been protected by an invisible barrier, and you're not even able to see it unless you are a protector of the galaxy. And it's a very elliptical orbit and only comes close to the, to the star every thousand years. So, uh, so when Rykros is back in orbit or back into the actual solar system, the Arrow Prism shows the way, knowing that it's time for the battle against light and dark again. So we're here to find out information on the profound darkness and what exactly it is. So he, he wants to tell us all this information, but he wants us to perform some tasks, and we have to meet the guardians of the Strength Temple and uh, the, uh, I can't remember the other name, I think it's Wisdom or some other temple. But there's another temple that we have to go to. There's two temples that we have to go to and defeat the bosses and, and grab the items from those bosses. So we are going to head out of this place into the land of Rykros now. It's a weird, like, crystallized planet. Uh, we haven't really seen anything like it, but we're gonna grab some... grab another... grab a guard shield up at the top here. And there should be another chest or two. There we go. Guard sword, telepipe, which we don't really need because we have the spell Ryuka. And we'll just keep moving around, grabbing more chests. Trimate. Trimates are always good. Full heals are nice. Okay, so now that we've gone all the way around, let's equip our new items. So Chaz is going to get the guard sword. Uh, Rika is going to use the guard shield for now because... Yeah, we'll do that. Guard shield. Because the guys on this planet, they hit quite hard, but we can use our land rover to move around. So it's not that big of a deal. And again... Oh, whoa. First time we haven't been able to escape. Pretty sure. Okay, we did get away from them. It's the first time I've never, I have not been able to run from a car battle. I was um, under the impression that it was 100% runaway rate. All right, so we reached the first temple, which is the strength tower. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just run back outside real quick and drop a quick save because the monsters in here are very dangerous. So let's make sure we got our macro set up. Uh, we're going to have Chroon use uh, Gigra, Ren will attack, 
Chaz will air slash, Rico will disrupt. Because there's going to be a lot of AoE stuff going on in here. So. Hey, whoa. Later, Jess. Hey, dude. Cameo by Jesse. I don't know if you saw him pass my big head, but he was here. Okay, so mainly we want to fight most of the, uh, the encounters in here because they're not particularly difficult unless they are the combined versions of those Ripper guys because then they hit particularly hard. So now we want to make sure to use Chaz's TP in here because he's going to be generally ineffective come to the boss fight. Okay, so we don't want to hit the stairs quite yet. We want to do a little bit of exploration and grab some items. Moondews are always nice. So let's drop it in place of the telepipe we picked up. Check out the other side to the ending over there. Kill these along the way. Good old acid breath. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to get to the top of this tower and meet the guardian there who is supposed to give us a task of sorts but all we have to do is just fight him and defeat him in order to move on with the challenge so uh, we don't want to fight these guys they hit particularly hard especially that guy so we're gonna run from those uh, do a little bit of recovery Chaz will heal us up you want to stay pretty much at full health while you're running through this dungeon because like, if, if you get ambushed, the enemies generally hit pretty hard. Oh, we can fight this guy, I think. Uh, we'll just do some single target stuff. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Flail is fine. Okay. Oh, and we got a Stardew from that guy. Awesome. Stardews are amazing. So we'll go ahead and just use the Trimate. Might as well just use it on the rune. That's awesome. I like getting Stardews. Uh, Guard Claw. We want that. So we're going to drop the... Ooh, drop Trimate. Okay. Put Rico with the Guard Claw, or the Genesee Claw, and keep on moving. Let's see what's in this chest. Another Moon Dew. Okay. Drop the Trimate. Just use that on Chaz. Cool. Keep on scooting along. I think we are going the right direction. I hope so. Yeah, run from those guys. We don't want to fight them. Hey, we made it here. So this is the first guardian. He's the guardian of the strength temple. So uh, he's just gonna wipe these triplet looking guys out real quick. And uh, ooh, yeah, they got decimated pretty hard. So we need to walk up and fight this guy. But first we're gonna make a couple macros. So that one's fine. This one is fine. Uh, let's have. We have our initial macro. Barrier, D band, pass shield. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Is there another helmet that I can give Chaz? No, there's not. Okay. So, unfortunately, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna go as is. So he's this guy's saying that he's been getting pretty bored. All the people that Louvre has been sending are sissies. So uh, we're gonna have to fight this guy. His name is Davars. So the first thing we're gonna do is our, our barrier dude then macro. Make sure to get protection up because this guy will hit particularly hard. Get Chaz's attack power up. Oof, big old crit. Okay. So next we'll do is a flare. We'll use a trimate. On Chaz, have Chaz cross cut, and have Varun continue to Newat. Ok, 
Okay. Um, let's do this. We'll have Stardew. We need to get Power Shield up on Rika. Crosscut and new one. Perfect. We're in win first. Alright, so we're going to use our Stardew macro with double slash because we're in still a pretty high health. And 217 is a good amount of damage from the double slash. Okay, now we're going to have to use our Gisar recover macro because we're going to need to get a few HP back. Everything's going perfect so far. Okay, Stardew double slash. And again, start to do double slash. Okay. Key start recover. And that's pretty much just the whole fight. Just keep repeating, just making sure you stay healthy. And when you single targets like that, we can do uh, a different ability. So we can go command, have Ren use a trimate on Rika. Have Rika double slash, cast can cross cut, and then more Nawat. So far, so good. Okay, you start recover. And there we go. That's the first guy down. So that was pretty easy. So now he's going to leave a couple chests for us, and these are new helmets that we'll be using for the end of the game that are specific to each planet and each person that is the protector of that particular planet. So we get the uh, the Palma Ring, the Matavia Ring, and the Dizolus Ring. So we're going to equip those right away. So Ren gets the Palma Ring. Chaz, I'm sorry, Riki gets the Matavia Ring. And then Rune gets the Dizolus Ring. Okay, so we're going to get the heck out of here. So we're going to hide this out. And then we're going to teleport back to the Silent Temple to go get a free heal from the center of the room. Okay, so our next stop is the... I don't remember what the name of the temple is, but it's the one in the southeast. It's not the Strength Temple. It might be the Wisdom Temple or some other variants of that. But let's uh, head over there. So we'll run from these guys. Yeah, it's this one here. So we'll do a quick save. Yeah, Courage Tower. That's what it is. Okay, so I had it wrong all along. It's Courage Tower. So we get another Stardew. Stardews are always useful, as you saw from the last fight. No, I didn't make a macro. Oops. Uh, attack. Disrupt. Air Slash. Gigra. Okay, so yeah, those those blood sword guys, because they can air slash that, as you saw, quite did quite a bit of damage. So again, we want to use Chaz's TP here to heal everybody up because we need Rika's for Gisar. So we'll have Ren recover. All right, move along. Now there are a couple staircases in this dungeon, but I can never remember which is the correct one. But we're gonna run this way. Uh, this guy we can fight. So defend. Nope. Eliminate. Defend. DM. Oop. Into to kill them. So that's what we do with that guy. Uh, let me make that macro while we're running through here. So Rune uses Gigra. Ren attacks. Rika disrupts. Chaz air slashes. And that's correct. Okay. And we'll keep on running. Oi. Yeah, these guys hit pretty hard and they poison. That's good. But we're going to go ahead and kill them if we get a chance to.
Okay. So we killed them, but they did quite a bit of damage to us, so I guess they uh, they outspeed us. Okay. So another heal for Rika. And we gotta use anti. First time I've had to use that ability to get rid of poison. And it should be good. Let's go this way. Chest. I like chests. Uh, let's run from him. No Stardew. Great. Excellent. Um, head up the stairs here. Really don't know where I'm going to be honest. Uh, we definitely want to run from that. Those twin arms—they do a, like a blade shift ability, and that hurts a lot. Guard rope, good. Okay, so we'll equip that onto Rune. Rune could use some more defensive power. It gets hit pretty hard at this point in the game. Run from those two idiots. Keep on moving. I really hope I went the right way. I don't want to be wandering around here for a while. Alright, this guy not too dangerous. I'll just run from him. This looks right, but I don't know. Okay. Continue wandering around these corridors. Oh god! Don't want to fight triplets. They hit hard. They still use Gizan. Hey, we got there. Alright, so this fight is pretty much the same verse, same as the first. Let's make sure everyone's healed to full. So, heal that, heal that. Perfect. And then we have our macro. Which we never used Saner last in this fight, which is a mistake on my part. But, uh, we'll make sure to use that this time. Okay, so this guy is Saluz, which is generally the same thing as the last guy, so use the same barrier D-band. Oh, good thing we got barrier up first. Okay. Uh, now we're going to do a command. We will flare Saner. Uh, Crosscut. And Nawat. Good. Good spike of damage, 300 from Chaz there. Okay. Hey, keep hitting him with Flayelli all day, I like that. Okay, so now Rika's gonna use the Pow Shield on herself. Crosscut, and then they walked. And that's the big hitter right there. So we're going to do the Stardew Double Slash macro, because Ren doesn't really get hit by that since he has a lot of defense at this point. Okay, so good to just everyone attack here. So Double Slash, Crosscut, Nawat. Oof, Tendal hurts. Okay, again, Stardew. And we're not really worried about using all of our Stardews because we can just purchase them from the Ten of Mies if need be. Alright, so we'll use Command here. We'll have uh, Rika use Gyrez, Crosscat, Nawat. Just rinse and repeat, just making sure not to die to Tandle. So then we use our Stardew macro again. And we only took one person damage there, but we need to recover on Ren, so we'll Gyro's Chaz, Crosscut Daylight. And there we go, second guy down. So now we've passed all these challenges that LaRouf has sent for us. So we're going to grab the last two helmet ring things. So we got the Rykros ring and the Algo ring, which is the one for the protector of the solar system, which goes on Chaz. So he is supposedly the protector of the entire solar system. So we are going to head out of this place. We're going to hide us out. And then we're going to teleport 
over to the Silence Temple. And now that we've completed his tasks, we want some information now. So Lurup is going to speak to us again, and he's going to tell us about the um, the coming to be of the profound darkness and the great light. So he's going to talk about the again, the, as you can see here, this is a representation of the great light against the profound darkness. So the great light banished the profound darkness from the solar system and sealed the the evil away with the gigantic seal of three planets. So the Algo solar system is the seal that keeps the profound darkness from emerging and destroying everything. So then every once every thousand years there's like a weakening in the seal and the profound darkness would come through and the great light would name protectors to um, fight for the light and destroy the profound darkness and send it back. But unfortunately the planet of Parma which is part of the seal was destroyed. And because that seal has been destroyed now the profound darkness is trying to escape from its banishment and come to Algo and destroy it. So now we are tasked with destroying this profound darkness, but Chaz is a little skeptical as to why the great light hasn't come and fought the profound darkness as if it's the great light's battle. So why do we have to do it? So if the darkness escapes the seal, obviously that the, the solar system will be destroyed and the only way for us to do it is to go into the, its own dimension and fight it. So that's why we were giving these helmets slash rings. It protects us from the power of the darkness so that we can travel within its dimension. So, Chaz is a little upset right now. Uh, talking about, for because LaRue is talking about this mission, saying that uh, we're just puppets of the Great Light and we're pretty much the same as Zeo if we're going to be dancing to its tune, like Zeo was dancing to the tune of the profound darkness, like who cares, like it's no way that it has anything to do with us because why doesn't the great light fight for itself, where is it at now, like why do we have to do it so Chaz is like pretty pissed off and he's gonna run away from his quote unquote destiny so Rune's gonna talk to him and say we need to go to the Esper Mansion, like you need to have a heart to heart with somebody, so I'm gonna take you to the Esper Mansion So Chaz is having his own little heart-to-heart -heart saying that uh, he misses Elise and Elise taught him everything and but he's not ready to have the the whole fate of the solar system on his shoulder and again that we're no different than Zeo if we just dance to the Great Lights tune. So we're gonna go to the Esper Mansion on the planet of Dezolus and apparently the answer lies there. So we're gonna head to Dezolus real quick We're gonna hop on the little pad here, heal everybody up, and then we'll teleport over to the Esper Mansion. So we're gonna head right into the inner sanctum, which is supposed to be the sanctum of Lutz, but they don't. Nobody knows that Rune is actually the fifth generation Lutz, other than the gentleman that was in the inside. So apparently, in that room lies the answer to what Chaz is looking for. Because Chaz is torn right now, he's not sure that he wants to fight for a solar system that can't fight for itself, because where is the Great Light? Yeah, I mean, why does the Great Light fight for itself? So we're going to head in here and find out what's going on. So we're going to talk to the gentleman, and he's like, surely you're not going to give this to a, a youth like him. So there is a secret passage between the two statues here, which apparently houses the sacred sword Elsidian. So Chaz has to go by himself to find this sword. Before we have him go by himself, I was going to put some shields on him. That's I can do this. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll just put two shields on him because we're not going to fight anything in here. So Jazz is going by himself through this spooky cave in the 
back of the Esper Mansion looking for answers. And what awaits him is a sword attached to a statue. Oops. So we'll run from that phantom. So this sword is called El Sidian, and it basically is embodied with the spirits and voices of those who've protected the Alvo solar system in the past. So El Sidian is the only thing, as in most games, that can defeat the final monster. So Chaz is the wielder of El Sidian and receives the power of the protectors before him. So now they're showing pictures and like a little montage of the previous games and all of the characters that were involved in saving the Algo solar system. So you'll see like the first generation Elise, the Lutz, etc. And then he has a vision of the entire solar system and his Elise will eventually tell him that yeah, this is what you need to do. So he'll emerge from the cavern, a new man selected and able to defeat the profound darkness. So Chaz emerges from the cavern, he's got his sword, and Rune's like, I knew I made the right choice. Alcidian promised that would give you power and there was no mistake. So Chaz is ready to do what is necessary to save the Algo solar system. So apparently that now there's an emergency on Matavia that a hole has appeared in the ground near the town of Palma. Oh sweet. Okay, apparently we have to run out of this room in order to do any sort of teleport stuff. So now that we have El City and we're gonna equip that onto Chaz. Oh, it's already on them. Okay, and we are gonna teleport out of here. Go to the city of Tyler. But actually but first we're going to go stop by the city of Mies and buy a couple more Stardews because those are super helpful. So pop in here real quick, sell some things. I'll keep that, keep those. Uh, we don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, we don't need the guard sword anymore because we have Elsidian. Cyber suit we don't need. Silver tusk we don't need anymore. Laconian sword we don't need. Uh, Genesee claw we don't need. Laconian gear I think we might need that still. Oh no, we don't need that because we have the uh, the Parma ring for him. Side crown we don't need. Stone star do we do need? Silver circle we don't need. Uh, what else don't we need? Reflect robe we don't need. And we do need the swift helm. Okay, so with the rest of that money, we're just gonna buy a bunch of stardews. Okay, and we are out of here. So we're going to ride into the town of Tyler and head to our spaceport. And as we walk in, hey, look at that. It's Kyra and Raja. Raja's feeling much better now. And uh, Kyra has completed her mission at the Esper Mansion and decided that she wants to go defeat the Profound Darkness with the rest of the team. So they're going to fly with us to Matavia. And when we get there, we meet up with Demi, Grizz, and Han. And everyone's been training at this point, and... They all want to go help defeat the Profound Darkness, but unfortunately we can only take one person. So I haven't really decided who we're going to take yet uh, to fight the final battle. So if anyone has any ideas, leave a message in the comments below and we'll, uh, we'll decide. I mean, obviously the worst person to take is Grizz because he's the worst character in the game. And the best one, in my opinion, is either Raja or Kyra. So if anyone has any ideas on who you want me to take, just leave a message in the comments below. So... Everyone's just talking about how they all want to help out with the Profound Darkness fight, and there's, but there's unfortunately there's only five rings, so we have to choose one person to take. So with that, we're going to end the episode here. 
Uh, if you liked what you saw, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And again, uh, if you have a preference on who you want in the final battle, let me know. Uh, and that's it for this episode, and we'll see you next time. So thanks again from Baited Gaming. My name's Joe. Have a good one.